Okay, hi everyone, my name is David Hill and uh, I'm a Cyberlink MVP. I'm going to speak to you a little bit today about slow motion and applying slow motion to your high frame rate video clips. Come out your GoPro or your iPhone or whatever such camera that you possess that can produce a very high frame rate video. So, this is my PowerDirector layout. I'm just going to show you a little, a nice little FAQ piece that's uh, sublink that I've actually done. Second link down after you type in slow motion into their site, and it's just a little bit about uh, about you know importing GoPro footage, iPhone footage, um, but really it can apply to any <coughs> any video camera that can produce these high frame rate clips. So I wouldn't worry too much about it being specific to GoPro. My footage is actually GoPro footage. I'm a big mountain sports enthusiast and vi videographer. Um, and uh, this summer I went mountain biking in Canada. That's where these clips are from. Um, I'm just going to show you a little slow motion sequence that I produced. Um, just to show you what can be done with these high frame rate cameras. Uh, and uh, get an idea of the, the slow motion. Okay, so it's not that long, but it's, it's a good example of uh, some slow motion. And this is actually the clip that I I drew that footage from. Um, so one thing to make sure: so I've imported it my uh, my clip into into PowerDirector. Um, it's a 50 frames per second clip. Um, so there's a lot of different frame rate options. Um, if you know a little bit about video cameras, you'll know that there is a two TV formats, <coughs> one being PAL and one being NTSC. Um, PAL shoots in 25 frames per second, 50, 100, 200, etc. <coughs> and uh, and NTSC in 30 frames per second as its standard, uh, 60, 120, 240, etc. And the, the new GoPros can actually go up to 240 frames per second at uh, at their lowest lowest resolution um, and still 120 frames per second at 720p which is a great feature um, so this was actually shot at 1080p um, at 60 at 50 frames per second um, I'm from the UK we use PAL here um, and I, I prefer PAL um, but it really doesn't matter you can use whatever you want just as long as you make sure the the frame rate is all uh, <coughs> all set up so the timeline frame rate in Power Director obviously the timeline has to have a frame rate so you can actually edit that which is a great feature um, as I say this clip was shot at 50 frames per second so I'm just going to produce it as a standard 25 frames per second PAL um, because I can't slow it down and still have 50 frames per second because originally I only have 50 frames per second so you can see <coughs> if you use NTSC you can use 30 or 60 so if you've got 120 frames per second on your clip then you can slow it down by half and still have 60 frames per second and produce that <coughs> so you can use that in your timeline or you can just use the standard 30 so I'm just going to go with 25 for this clip so I'm just going to drag that in so obviously 50 frames per second being double I can slow this down by half um, really you don't want to go any lower than 25 or 30 frames per second because it starts to make the look the video look jerky so if if I went at any lower than half speed on this um, the video would start to degrade in, in quality because I wouldn't have enough original frames to fill the gaps um, so really as low as I can do is half um, whilst maintaining that smooth look so I'm just going to trim this this clip down a bit Just make sure it's at the. Just put it to a jump. We'll go with this one. Bring that back, back a little bit. We'll do that jump as well. <coughs> okay. Just zoom in a bit. This is me following my friend Harry down down a trail in Whistler, in Canada. Um, and as I say, shot on the the GoPro chest mount at 50 frames per second with the GoPro Black. So, how do I make this slow motion? Well, as I say, 50 frames per second, so I'll just go to Power Tools down here, 
tick that video speed box and then you can adjust the uh, the speed multiplier so <coughs> if you want to bring it down to to 50 so that whole clip is now at 25 frames per second um, because obviously I've halved the speed at it, which is played um, so I'll just take that off show you the clip <coughs> so that's just a couple of jumps put that back on so this is now at 0.5% uh, you can see big difference uh, looks a little bit jerky in this that's just the preview window window my laptop not being powerful enough to play it smoothly but when it is produced it will be lovely and smooth like you saw in the video <coughs> um, so you can stretch the audio or get rid of it I usually just mute the audio because the GoPro footage uh, GoPro audio is notoriously not great um, so and it, it doesn't really add anything to the video video to be honest so that's done um, <coughs> then if you if you so wish you can apply all your color effects and uh, bring bring the nice colors out and uh, any other effects that you might might want to put on it um, but for now we're just looking at slow motion as I say um, so if this was a maybe a hundred hundred frames per second clip I could slow that down to a quarter so 2.25 or if it was 200 frames per second then I could slow it down to 0.125 and uh, it will still be smooth um, and obviously a lot slower so you can get some really really great effects um, especially with the, the new 120 frames per second um, on the GoPro or any other camera so I'll just produce this out and uh, and show the result one second okay guys so I've got my slow-mo clip imported back into my video library right here. I'm just going to give that a play for you. You can see it's a lot smoother than before in the preview. So you've got a lovely smooth slow motion video clip ready to go. Um, I should note some important stuff with the production. Um, so what you do to, to get that obviously. Um, I really like the MPEG4 profile. Um, you can use whichever profile you, you like obviously um, but for the highest quality video and it's the same um, file type as GoPro so it's always a good rule to keep it keep your output as close to your input as possible to retain quality um, and I use a, a custom profile um, which is 1080p at 25 frames per second uh, with a 30 megabyte per second bit speed bit rate um, obviously if you're producing if your timeline is in <coughs> in 60 frames per second or 50 frames per second then you need to output it with that same frames per second so when I'm outputting slow-mo I've got this other other custom profile for 50 frames per second um, and that's just to draw stuff down from even higher frame rates um, but retain that high frame rate um, playback speed on the output so you do that and then you just re-import it into your power director timeline and uh, and you can make cool stuff so I hope that helps if you've got any questions um, just shoot them my way or go to the cyberlink FAQ and uh, it's a very helpful helpful little site so that's it for today and um, I'm sure I'll be back with more tutorials soon thank you